Hello again, welcome to the Hearts of War project. Uh, again, bringing you another short video looking at some of the items that have uh, been very generously loaned to us. Um, this one coming in this weekend, and uh, it's a great example of a, a fairly iconic helmet that actually we've already covered once in this series. Although this one is a slightly different style and so well worth a look, I think. Um, so, what we have in front of us here is a Prussian. First World War, German of course, um, pickle help or spiked helmet. Um, this particular model has uh, been dated, as you can see from the inside, um, in 1916, uh, which suggests that it's right towards the end of the, the pickle help's useful period, and certainly in a in trench warfare. Um, generally speaking, by 1916, the majority of pickle helps had been uh, taken out of uh, taken out of frontline service and were used only really for sort of rear echelon work. Um, largely been replaced by the German steel helmet or the uh, the Stahlhelm, which uh, is the, the famous sort of coal scuttle shape. So, um, just sort of going around it again, we have on the one side the colours of Imperial Germany, as you can see, and if we flip it round, on the other side, on the other cockade, we have the remainder of the colours of uh, the uh, Prussian state which of course is where this one comes from. So we have the uh, Prussian crest on the top which is similar to the majority of them but uh, slightly different in that you can see this sort of a staff coming out of the eagle's foot there so um, it kind of helps us identify where exactly this one's from. And uh, looking at the, uh, the brass plate on the front where originally uh, you found in sort of 1914 and 15 that these were a, a bright blah, a bright brass. Um, by this time, they'd generally been dulled down because it was obviously uh, became a little bit of a worry that they were uh, um, gave off a lot of light and therefore um, drew the attention of the enemy, and so they'd been dulled down into a kind of battlefield finish. But um, as I say, this one's a leather body with uh, with brass fixtures and fittings. Uh, it afforded slightly more protection than the kind of felt one that we looked that we've looked at recently, which was uh, certainly offered less uh, less protection than this. Although either way, um, it's not something that you particularly want to be wearing if you were going to be uh, standing in a in an artillery barrage, for example. But uh, yeah, a very nice example, and um, of course uh, iconic of the First World War, and particularly the German Army in the First World War. The uh, FR one there, relating to Friedrich, and the um, slogan, if you like, the the motto across the front is a. Uh, uh, let's have a quick look. <laughs> Mit Gott für König und Vaterland. So um, my uh, fairly crude German will say that that's with God for King and Country. So uh, really, a, a, quite a nice, quite a nice item. I'm still in pretty good condition, and uh, yeah, very glad to have it on display. Of course, it's worth mentioning. For probably final thing is that uh, pickle halves are. Uh, because of their leather construction, tend to uh, shrink a fair amount um, over the years, and so this one is pretty small. But uh, yeah, very uh, very nice thing, and very pleased to have it on display. So there we are. Um, I hope you like that. Cheers. Bye bye.